Okay. Um, hi. Yes. Okay. So, um, right. I'm not a DevOps person or an ops person, and currently I'm barely a dev person. Um, but so I came to this conference and I was expecting, you know, lots of old Unix ESIS admin types with neckbeards and stuff like that. And I was pretty disappointed that this was not the case. So I thought I would try to inspire people to um, live up to. Oh, okay. Is this thing on? Okay. So what I thought is I would try to um, inspire people to, um, you know, go back to their true Unix um, roots and start growing neckbeards. Um, and I guess everybody's on board for that, right? Right. Okay. Sorry. So that's not actually what this talk is about. Um, about a month or so ago, we were having some sort of um, random discussion about um, latency tuning or something, and um, somehow I was on this mailing list, so I sort of stuck my nose in, and Kiran said, hey, why don't you do a talk? And um, I didn't know enough about it, so I said, I won't do it, and then when I came here, I thought, this might not be useful to anybody at all, so let me do a talk about it. Um, right. So... What I'm going to be talking about is this thing called Perf. Um, it basically is a profiling tool for Linux. Um, it's very lightweight. Um, it's sort of the canonical um, profiling tool for if you're working on kernel or low-level stuff. But I think it could potentially be useful for um, you guys when you're facing performance issues. I'm just going to quickly walk through um, what you can do with it. How much time do I have? Is that? Oh, awesome. Okay. So the first um, thing you can do is uh, call perf top, which is uh, perf top, which is something very similar to um, to the top command, but uh, there are some differences. So what I'm going to do is because I don't do DevOps stuff and I have nothing that looks DevOpsy on my machine, um, I'm just going to play a video. Okay, just believe me that there's a video playing over here, and uh, what I'm going to do at the same time is run perf top, okay? And uh, so what you can see here, uh, right, so what you can see here is not what you would normally get with top. Um, let me make this smaller, yeah. So what you see there is not what you normally get with top. What you're seeing is basically um, like a per uh, DSO, per dynamic share object, um, capture of what functions are taking the maximum CPU usage. Um, so since I'm doing, C I'm doing, uh, playing a video, uh, video decode uh, is obviously the thing that's the highest, um, is the highest um, CPU user. Um, so let's see, I want to see what this thing does, right? Um, I can actually go deeper, I can go and see per thread um, what uh, per uh, thread or per process what is happening. But what I can also do is go look at the code right there and see performance hotspots in the code. Um, oh, and we were lucky. This is some of the FFmpeg code that isn't actually assembly. Um, so you've got the actual source code if, you're, if your system's set up for it and how much CPU you're spending and that sort of thing. So that's one possible usage of this. Um, you can also um, do this another way, which is you can do a perf record followed by a perf report, which is the same thing in a sense, except for you've stored the data and you can um, analyze it uh, in detail later. Um, I won't talk about this because I don't think there's time. One uh, minute. Okay, cool. Uh, the last one that might be useful to you is perf shed, which is a bunch of um, latency uh, measurement tools. I'll just show you a quick demo of this. Hopefully that'll work. Um, uh, one sec. So you ran this thing, and um, you thought the latency uh, was higher than it should be, and you're wondering why that is. Um, what you do is you run uh, perf shed, uh, and you record the, all the um, information that you want while this thing is running, and then you run perf shed latency. 
which gives you an idea of the average delay for that particular uh, task to be scheduled and the maximum delay. And say, if, if it wasn't two milliseconds, it was like 15, and you're trying to get like a 10 millisecond latency, you know that, okay, there something went wrong at that specific, specific time, which is in the next column, which it's not showing up here. Time, time up. Can I show like one small thing? Yeah. Right. So once you know what time this, um, this event happened that caused you a scheduling delay, you can actually walk through what's happening on each CPU. Each row, each column there is one of my CPUs, and you can see what thread was scheduled at what time, and what was swapped out, what was swapped in instead. So that helps you uh, tune latency and things like that. Um, and finally, it's over almost. Um, right, you almost. can do syscall profiling, but we don't have time for that. And thank you for listening.